And there is Councilman Parker. We've been we're doing it much better than a quorum. Yeah, the, the work right. always goes on between meetings. Yeah. Sure. Well, now, the work it goes on between meetings. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that too. <laughs> All right. Let me just set to this agenda real quick. There's only a few items, so we'll just take them all individually. Uh, I don't see either Murphy or Styles on this. And I don't know whether... Do get somebody? Yes. Uh, if you can find either Councilmember Murphy or Styles, and then I, I just saw Councilmember Dan Reese in the main chamber. Yeah, otherwise I'm going to say I'll, I'll text Kathleen. She might be in... Is she in planning zone? She could be at rules. Is she on rules? Yeah, let me see. I'm going to go get... I know. Yeah, can you ask... Ask Nancy. I think Bob's looking for Kathleen. Because these... Uh, I'm pretty sure Nancy did want to go ahead and move her to the chair. Uh, and I do have a letter from Colby, so we can, right now, we can only take action on two items. Here, we'll go into a quick recess. <laughs> ah, look at this. Hey. All right, and we still have a quorum since we only have three, so we went, they went to go find you and Nancy. Um, all right. I, told, I said I was going to text you. <laughs> <laughs> the fastest way. Uh, RS-2019-44 approves an intergovernmental agreement between the Tennessee Department of Transportation and the Metro Department of Sorry. Public Works for a general maintenance agreement for Smart Corridor Phase 2, I-24 from I-440 to State Route 10 in Murfreesboro and State Route 1 from I-24 to State Route 10 in Murfreesboro and various connector routes. Um, are you on this primarily because of the planning chair? I am, and okay. I actually encouraged the clerk in our office to find someone whose district was more impacted by um, ours, and I don't, I never really got an answer if that was styles, styles or not, um, okay. but there was robust discussion in Public Works um, explaining this from Public Works, okay. so. No, then I will say for the benefit of the committee, I, I generally, anytime I see um, installation of public cameras. I have some questions. Uh, according to Public Works, these will not actually be storing any data. They are basically just used to recognize the different modes uh, of transit. And so if anybody has other questions, we have Courtney here. Please. Um, Let me put on my Jeff Hammond hat. Yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> but, but to Councilmember Murphy's point, this did come up uh, in Public Works, but I would uh, I would open the floor for questions. Oh, and I, I will guess say, it does seem like it's totally in Murfreesboro. I mean, is any of this, or is that the other one? One of these seemed totally not even in our county. So I think this, this, is, the, is... this is the whole smart corridor. So I believe that this is... It overlaps with um, MTA's transit signal priority right. project, okay. yep. so it's that it's that portion of the corridor as well. There were specific in, um, uh, intersections, intersections yep. identified within Davidson County. Yeah. Um, and there is a substitute, so I believe Courtney, the substitute is something we do want to move, correct? And it's right. just changing like a le one letter yeah, was off. Yeah. All right, so I would I would accept a motion to. Um, to, to get the substitute on. So moved. All right, got, Seconded. A, got a motion and a second on the substitute, and now we are on the bill as substituted. Any any further questions for staff? All right, hearing none. Uh, all in favor? Please say, or actually, no, I need a, a motion on the bill as substitute. So moved. Second. All right, um, motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, we've got five in favor. All right, um, next, let's go to Councilmember. Oh, we've got. As well. I'm actually in rules committee, yeah, so if you don't do mind yours. doing the Murphy yeah. agenda. Is that okay with you? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to go to bills on second reading and do BL 201935, amends the geographic information system street and alley centerline layer for the metro government by abandoning alley number 377, right of way and easement. Uh, there is a substitute on this as well, Councilmember Murphy, I'm assuming that I is also. I believe this is the one that is actually in Councilman Taylor's district. He has signed on and asking for a two meeting deferral to hold a community meeting. Okay. I hope uh, I have that right. If not, we have a recommendation <laughs> from another committee that can be used on the floor. Okay, great. Uh, all right, let's get the substitute on there, and then we can defer for two meetings. Mm, I think we've just deferred it. Oh, really? Okay. And not even put the substitute on. Fair Again, enough. we have a committee uh, report. Then I would accept a motion to defer for two meetings. So moved. 
Second. Got a motion and a second to defer for two meetings. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? None. Uh, all right, there we go. Uh, BL 2019-36 amends the geographic information system street and alley centerline layer for the Metro government by abandoning alley number 691, right of way and easement. Councilmember Murphy. I believe we, this is Councilman Taylor's as well, and I think we've moved it forward. All right, I would accept the motion to approve. So moved. Second. Any Thank discussion? Hearing none. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Uh, we've got a letter on this one. I'm on this one, so I think you're free. Thank you. All right. Uh, now we will return to resolutions, and that brings us to RS 2019-83. Councilmember Van Reese requests uh, participation in the Tennessee Logo Sign Program, and I will recognize Councilmember Van Reese. Thank you. I'm going to ask for a one meeting deferral, but I'd like to uh, give you a brief explanation of the uh, resolution, if that'd be okay, Chair? Please. Um, the uh, program that TDOT um, provides is something that um, the state uh, allows uh, municipalities to uh, sign on to. Uh, Memphis and Knoxville have signed on to this program, and I feel like it's time for Nashville too as well. These are the blue signs at the exits. You know, you're driving down the highway and you see a blue sign that says McDonald's that way and Hampton in the other way. These are those signs. Um, these would be uh, applicable at our interstates as well as Ellington Parkway and Briley Parkway. Um, because Ellington Parkway runs right up the middle of District 8 and and uh, Bradley Parkway cuts in, in, in two. Both of those are mentioned on the resolution, but they are not exclusive to places that it can be allowed. Um, for that reason, um, in a previous committee, there was some clarification in regard to exactly where and where it's not allowed, which is available on the TDOT um, explanation form, but there hasn't been enough time for people to kind of digest that. So I'm asking for a one meeting deferral just so that we can clarify where these would go and make sure that we're not adding any sign clutter in our major areas, but actually providing some resources for uh, both small business and big business and our residents to kind of know what's available to them. Uh, particularly uh, came to my attention because of uh, HCA Skyline Hospital being one of the uh, best trauma centers. Uh, there's really very little uh, other than the little white H on the blue signs. You wouldn't even know where it was. Um, so that started that conversation with me almost two years ago. I'm working with Representative Bill Beck, uh, who represents the area, and then finding out that actually all we needed to do was send a letter to TDOT asking for that permission. So. Obviously, That's a nice story, Councilmember, but I have it on good authority that it was a delicious egg muffin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would also allow uh, us to um, let people know where uh, Music City Roots is going to be. It also allows us to let, us let people know where Nosey College of Art is. Um, and so there's all kinds of District 8 reasons for this, but it is a countywide measure, so I want to make sure everybody kind of digests how it works for them and or if it doesn't work for them. So with that, I ask for a one meeting to form. All right, very good. I, I think it's important to note just for this committee because it, point, it was um, pointed out in public public safety, I believe it was public safety, um, <laughs> that there's no fiscal impact to Metro for this. That's right. Um, the program uh, is implemented by TDOT. We basically are sending, we're making the resolution that says, send them a letter saying we want in. And then when that's in, then a business can then contact TDOT. They have to go through their vendor, they have to abide by their regulations. And um, I believe, if I understood it, and I will read it again, it's three miles from any exit is you qualify for the sign, only six can go on a sign. So this would allow small businesses to, to buy in, particularly in the Ellington Parkway area, where if you have something that you, you need to go to in Cleveland Park, or if you want to hit something in, in, at Dickerson Road or Gallatin Pike, uh, down Ellington, you'd be able to actually let people know what's going on in those areas. So I don't want sign clutter any more than the rest. I want to make sure that it's actually efficient and allows both uh, small business success as well as um, helps our constituents kind of know where they can go to get help. Very good. All right. I would accept a motion for one meeting deferral. So moved. Second. I got a motion and a second. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm not on the committee, but I wonder if I can ask a question. Uh, I will recognize Councilmember Allen. <laughs> I appreciate Allen. that. Thank you. Yeah. So I love the blue signs, especially as um, alternatives to billboards, which there right. seem to be none of on these on these parkways, right. which is which is great. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell from looking through the the regulations if um, if this could apply to like I-440, for example, or whatever. I, I couldn't tell 
what other places in Nashville it could apply to. Do you, do you have a feeling? That's one of the questions that was brought up as well, because it seems to say what it, uh, it I, I think what would be helpful to me is that anybody who wants to know, does this apply on 440? Does this apply on Pikes, or does this apply on State Road 45? Right. Whatever those are, then, then I can compile those. We can ask you that specifically. Okay. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Then we can send you a list. Yeah. That'd be great. Okay. All right. And I will send a note uh, through the council office asking for that uh, from everyone, just so that we're clear, because we want to do it right if we're going to do it. Great. Uh, but Memphis and uh, Knoxville have said yes. Great. Uh, I think this sounds like a worthwhile proposal. We'll give you another meeting to, right. to let people digest the information. And any other questions from committee members? All right, seeing none. All in favor of only meeting deferral, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? All right. We now move on to uh, Bill 2019-37, amends the geographic information system, street and alley center line layer for Metro government by abandoning alley number 402 right of way. We have a letter to approve from Councilmember Sledge. Uh, I would accept a motion to approve. So moved. Seconded. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? And finally, BL 2019-38 amends the geographic information system street and alley centerline layer for the metro government by abandoning a portion of alley number 413 right of way and easement. Uh, I will move approval since I'm on the bill. And I need a second. second. All right, we've got, um, actually, I guess I, I can't remember if the chair can actually move, but no, I'll move it. there we go. Seconded. And it's moved and seconded. <laughs> Any discussion? Yeah. All, right. <laughs> All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? And that concludes our business. Um, just real quickly before we adjourn, um, you know, before this committee uh, had a, an elected chair for the term, we are working on the uh, parking fine increase that's out there. I suspect there will be some other steps that this committee weighs in on with regard to both, um, you know, transportation and what amounts to parking modernization. So. Uh, similarly to Public Works last term, I'm going to see if we can create some space or look for ways to do special committee meetings to make sure that uh, Public Works staff who work on those issues, uh, including Chip Knopf, who uh, staffs the Traffic and Parking Commission, are sometimes available to come uh, talk about the state of those proposals. But um, otherwise, we will be working through our agendas as well. So thank you, everyone. Can I make one announcement? Yes, you may. Um, Let's recognize Ms. Stone from Public Works. Thank you. Um, so the Traffic and Parking Commission would normally be meeting on November 11th this month, but with that being Veterans Day, we're going to be meeting on November 18th. Um, that will be a pretty big, important meeting, I think, um, because the Traffic and Parking Commission will be considering the neighborhood speed limit reduction, right. yeah. which would reduce speed limits on local streets from 30 miles per hour to 25 miles per hour. So put that on your calendar for November 18th in the USD. Yeah. All right. So note that that will be a worthwhile conversation for the city. I think it's, you know, there, there's been a lot of work on it, but thank you, Courtney, for that. Um, any other questions or business before we adjourn? All right. Thank you. Thank you.